Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Brave, the privacy focused web browser and get it working on the Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link to the brave.com website in the description. You just click on the link and you'll be taken to this website. So what I'm going to do is click on download Brave for Mac OS. And here it's asking us whether we have an Intel chip or an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you don't know which chip you have, all you need to do is to go to the Apple logo here and then click about this Mac. Click on this now. So if your chip type here says the word Apple, then you have an Apple M1 chip. So you should be choosing this one on the right here. This will be true for most new Macs that have been purchased after November 2020. If this chip section mentions the word Intel, then this means that you need to select the version on the left, which is most Macs released before November 2020. So today I'm using the M1 Apple Silicon Mac version, so I'm going to be clicking the M1 chip button here. The process is going to be the same whether it's for the Intel chip or the Apple chip. So here it's asking us to click on this file in order to install Brave. If you don't have this bar here, what you can do is go to Finder, go to Downloads, and then double click on BraveBrowser.dmg. So double click here. And then we have the option to drag and drop this into applications. So I'm going to select this, left click, and then drop it into the applications folder. So once that's copied over, we're going to minimize this. And then we're going to Finder, we're going to go to Applications, and then we're going to scroll and find B for Brave. And then we're going to double click on Brave Browser. Here it's asking whether we're sure we want to open it. We're going to press Open. Here it's asking us whether we want this to be our default browser. You can choose whether to set this as default or you can click maybe later. So now you can see here that the Brave web browser is open and now you can use this as normal. You can do a test. And now this is rendering websites as normal with extra privacy focused features. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.